Hey, hey, we are back. My name is Sarah Koenig. We are here with episode five of the foundation search. I actually don't remember what I called this thing, if I even called it something. Um, but we're here with episode five. That means we are halfway through with the foundation search for the best, cleanest foundation. <laughs> okay, so no nasties, just read down there for all the information. I'm not gonna bug you with it for the fifth time. Um, but we are looking for something with no silicone, okay, no dimethicone, and no bad ingredients. Today, y'all, I'm so excited about this one today because number one, I've been using it for years. I love this foundation. Number two, it's so controversial because this is one of only two, you guys, only two out of 10 MLM companies. Okay, multi-level marketing, network marketing. You know, those people that post on social media um, and sell products. I There are two companies, only two makeup companies that have passed all my rigorous criteria and have ended up here. Okay, now I know MLM is so controversial. Okay, people either love them or they hate them. Personally, me, I love supporting my friends. I love um, having at least part of my money go to a friend that I can actually help instead of just going straight to a big corporation. So that's just my opinion. Everybody has their own. Another reason why I'm wearing this shirt today, babes support babes. We gotta support each other, right? Us women gotta stick together. But anyways, so today we're going to talk about Unique's Stick Foundation, okay? That's what it's called, Unique Touch Stick Foundation. This is their only non-silicone foundation, but it does not have silicone, it does not have nasties, and it made the cut. I have been wearing this one actually since it came out, and um, I was about to say about it. I love it. Okay, that's why this is probably the only stick foundation that's going to be in this whole series because I found a stick foundation I love and I don't need another one, right? Um, but I have to show it to you because if you have not found a stick foundation yet, if you have not found a fuller coverage all in one wonderful winter foundation, it's good for the summer too, but it's really better for cooler temps. Wax based foundations are because wax based will melt in heat and they will slowly come off your face. Um, which is why for the summer, I'm looking for more of a skincare slash makeup product, but still gonna share it with you. Y'all, all it is is a stick. It's solid, it is super um, travelable. <laughs> I don't know what word I'm looking for there. And yeah, so let's just roll up our sleeves and get started, right? Okay, here we are blank slate. Um, I started out, I know that with these thick foundations, you don't have to wear a primer. That's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of any wax based foundation. However, if you have large pores like me, I would suggest wearing some kind of primer with it. Um, today I am wearing better in your skin wax based primer. The main thing you want to do is if you're wearing a stick foundation, stick foundations are usually a wax. You want a wax based primer um, or like a serum primer, just something without silicone in it. If you have silicone in it, they won't mesh together. They'll separate and it will be a big mess and you don't want to deal with that. So that's your extra tip for today. Um, so anyways, I'm using this one. I've used this with the same foundation for years. I've actually been wearing this foundation since it came out. I love it. Um, it's actually one of my favorite wintertime foundations because it is a fuller coverage um, and it does kind of throughout the day slowly wear off. So I think it wears off slower in cooler temperatures. But anyways, I am the color Lace 
And you guys, I think I'm actually gonna get Well People's stick foundation too so I can compare them. Uh, this is the only stick foundation that I have um, in this video lineup, but I may have to add one more because I love stick foundations. The reason I did not put any more stick foundations in here is because I already found one I love. Okay, but for you guys, I may have to add another one just for comparison's sake because I know not everyone um, is a big MLM supporter, so I wanna give you guys a second option too. Um, so anyways, the best thing about stick foundations, this is why I love it, is you literally swipe and go. Like, it's that simple. Now, here's the other awesome thing about stick foundations. This color is scarlet. It's one of their, is their lightest shade as of now. Um, and you can actually use these as concealer as well. And you can go ahead and do your highlighting and your contouring and your foundation all in one. You can skip so many steps. It's super quick, it's super easy. Um, like I said though, whoops, it's been a while since I've used these. This one's kind of dry. Okay, just swipe, swipe, swiped it down my nose, swiped it right there, and I'll put a little bit right there. Okay, mix up with that. I look a little crazy, but like I said, we're gonna take a Kabuki brush. Kabuki brush is my favorite for all foundations. I think I've used this for every single one that uses a brush to apply. And we're gonna pat to blend it in. Now, these are great for photography because they are so buildable, so blendable. Okay, wax-based foundations are what you would commonly see in photography. Because they have a semi-dewy, not quite matte, not quite dewy complexion. They're buildable and they have such great coverage. Now, like I said, it's my favorite winter foundation because it's a little heavier. I can feel it on my face, so it's not that skincare makeup combined. That is what I'm personally looking for. But I think some of you might really like this one, which is why I'm sharing. Y'all, look at this coverage. Is this not super perfect? Okay, and if you don't like the semi-dewy look, you just take setting powder and put just a little bit down that center and right under your eyes, and that shine goes away. It's the best thing ever. Um, oops. Now, I do wanna show you one other thing before I finish my look and we talk about my final takeaways. I wanna show you one more. I'm taking the color Chanel. It's a darker color. Y'all, I told you, you can do so much with stick foundations. It's amazing. Um, okay, I'm gonna put just a little bit right here. A little bit right here. Down my nose. Okay, those are the spots where I typically, and right under my lip, contour so if you're a contour person you can use these for contour too like I said I've got three shades here you can use all of them and get the perfect look all kind of in one just like swipe and then blend it's super easy okay I'm still taking my kabuki brush and just stifling that out Blending. It's another thing about wax-based foundations, stick foundations. Um, I've had some other wax-based foundations that are not stick foundations and they work just as well, but they blend so well. Much better than powders. Okay, 
Y'all look at that coverage. <laughs> oh, I heard a one right here. <laughs> okay. ta -da. Now I'm gonna go put some lashes and the blush on and we'll be back with my take place. Okay, you guys, if my lashes pop off, I'm still new to the whole um, fake lash thing. I will say I am whew, definitely not a professional makeup artist, okay? And that's why I'm not doing tutorials for you guys. I'm just showing you what I have found that I like and that fits scientific criteria because that's the type of person I am, not a tutorial person. Anyway, um, so we've got it all on, kind of got the lashes on, kind of got the hair fixed. Um, I just kind of want to go over my final thoughts about this. Pros and cons, okay, because stick foundations are super funny and they've got lots of both. Um, so first of all, and I'm looking in a mirror behind me, trying to like, let's start with the cons so that we can end on a positive note. Okay, the first thing I want to say is, and I've already said this once in the video, in higher temperatures, think about a candle. When you light the candle, what happens to the wax? It melts. Okay, so in higher temperatures, like down here in um, like Gulf Coast, Texas, it's, it's not that amazing. Um, in hotter temperatures, it's gonna melt off. But in cooler temperatures, it's amazing. Okay, um, so, so that's one negative. Okay, but like I said, you went, it's a great winter foundation, a cool temperature foundation. Um, and it will last all day if it's not super hot. Um, another kind of negative about it is wax-based foundations. Um, stick foundations they tend to be heavier so I can feel that I have makeup on um, and it also like <laughs> you can see it's kind of settled in some places like right here and right here now if I just rub over it it goes away but it does kind of settle in lines a little bit if you're not careful maybe I just got on too thick um, maybe I didn't set it properly uh, like I said, I'm not a tutorial person. <laughs> um, so those are just some negatives that I see. Um, some positives, y'all, it lasts all day. Again, the, with the weather thing, but it does last all day. And when it comes off, it doesn't come off splotchy. It like melts away. So it like slowly just goes from fuller coverage to a lighter, to medium coverage, to a lighter coverage, and then it's gone. Like, so I like how it comes off throughout the day. And um, it is buildable. So if you want a lighter coverage, you can get a lighter coverage. If you want fuller coverage, you can get fuller coverage. You can use it as concealer. You can use it as contour. Um, it's good for so many things. Um, like I said, I love this foundation. I've been using it for years and I don't, I don't know. I just love it. And I think you should really try it too. And you would love it. Let me know in the comments if you think that this is the one. And don't forget when you're typing in the comments, go ahead and like the video, go ahead and subscribe. Tell me if you think this is the one. I'm sure you've got somebody on your social media that sells unique that can hook you up. Most of them do free color matches, buy a picture. They can help you. If you don't know someone, just comment on my video. I have several friends that sell this and I would love to uh, set you up with someone that knows what they're doing and can hook you up with the perfect set. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Ah, I just don't even know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, stay tuned because we do have five more episodes coming and don't forget to like and subscribe and I would appreciate y'all so much. Bye guys.